Over there. A dock. An underground landing. Interesting. I wonder what was landed here all that time ago. Something illicit, no doubt. Watch out! Expect your position. You're wasting your time on this one. Think you can take on a ghost? Company of 100 Associates. I, I believe it was a new French trading company, before you and I were born. The cave has been abandoned for a while then. Aye. Uh, it's probably a French smuggler's den.
Ceridian's island is a pleasant place no longer. The folk will miss her without ever knowing she was here. I have another in sight. Run, Red! Shoot. You're done. <laughs> After what happened at the fort. I wonder what awaits us in the Harrows. No matter the bridge, we can cross it. Don't get cocky. Oh, I'm not. I'll be relying on you. Don't. We're facing a nightmare. Rely on us. An enraged spectre is lurking nearby. Why not summon it? The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really. But I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the beauty of the world. I'd be tempted to think the warmer air means a warmer welcome. I suspect I'll be wrong. Trust that instinct, young apprentice, for it will serve you well. Why do I get the feeling that we have such the ducks? You're in its sights, Red. Fuck! 
down to hell. Red. Suddenly I can't manifest. That's not good. Something magic hinders me. I'm still hindered. There must be another ward nearby. Better. Thank you. These wards look fairly new. A witch? A Hasco, more likely. Let's be careful. Doors blocked on the other side. What now? I can't help you from here. I'll deal with it quickly. I can't.
ghost wards I cannot manifest. Something has me. Wards. I need to find the key to open this. Much better.
ship here. Incredible. Beautiful, too. Wards. Think you can fend for yourself? Call on me. Ready and waiting. I'm going to need a hand here. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Sorry, not this time. I'm at your side again. One more walk through the void. Corpses. We could manifest what hides here. I summon you now. I'm right here, you know. Today. It's coming for you.
You're welcome. I... Fight! Whatever grip it is the nightmare has here, you'd never know by looking. Bridge is up. Wonder why. To keep folk in, or to keep something out? Did you feel that? It's close. The village is full of ghost wards. They're afraid of something. Leave them up. Cause no trouble. Anyone home? Where did they go? The well, recently sealed. Below, it feels... off. Smells off, too.
Perhaps there's a key. Haskell. Friends, find fortitude in our success. Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations, we congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather, we worship, we overcome, and we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, poring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half built? Yes. Open to the four winds? Yes. But already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I, I thought you... I thought you... What happy portent, what most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds, O oh, fate, I say. Dead, sir, I thought you dead. Maybe I am. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the devil's legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? She knew the risks. So will I go in unto the king. And if I perish, I perish. So said Esther to Mordecai. Such wisdom, such courage. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful, but you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. Oh, I know. I know. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now. I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil, heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. 
He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her, or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise, but I am a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go. Meet my people, walk amongst them, learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? I, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, nor man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened. But this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course. As did the last one. As will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. Do you mean Deborah? You know a little already, I gather. Yes. Deborah, the crooked school teacher. When Deborah showed her true nature, I was proud to pass judgment upon her. She earned her punishment. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But you cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Another witch hunt. If there even is a witch, Deborah was innocent. Actual banisher. <laughs> Ghost ward. I think you can safely knock it over. <sighs> the ward's power is gone. I'm not busy. You're the governor's son, right? I... Uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Oh, they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have 
So many questions, sir. So many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honoured. Your father believes there is a Harrow's Witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division. Division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. Good day to you, Lammy. Good day to you, sir. Can you find a way around the locked door? Our bread, not our ale, our bread! Do you want us to starve? I should have the yeast. You know it, Mistress Barrow, you know it full well. If you want yeast, then grow your own. Just stick some in a jar and grow it, and you'll have it forever. Now there is none, and it's my fault. Food is a staple, and drink is a luxury. Give me the yeast. How many different ways do you need to hear it? Of yeast. There is no more. There is yeast. No more. Yeast? No. No more. There's no more shitting yeast. You're lying. You're pricking now, Mr. Cottle, and I am vexed. Go home. Go back to your work. Go to hell for all I care. Thank you, sir. Likewise. Red McCraith. You? A Perry Cottle. I'm the baker. What are you doing out here in the rustics? I'm a banisher. I'm looking for ghosts. I find no ghosts here, sir. Nor demons. The governor, in his piety, sees to that. I envy your faith, Mr. Cottle. How's that working out so far? Have you noticed anything strange lately? Changes in demeanour, odd comings and goings. Lucy Barrow goes picking plants. All furtive like. I've seen her. I've watched her. She puts them in her strange concoctions. Won't tell me what's in there. Maybe she'd spill it to you. And where might I find this Lucy Barrow? The ale wife, when she's not furtively picking herbage, may be found in the ale house. I should go. And I must work. Good day, sir. Good day, uh, madam. Mistress, Lucy Barrow, the alewife. Red McGraith, the banisher. Alewife, is it? I'd never have guessed from looking at you. And what does an alewife look like, Mr. Banisher? She's got you there. 
Can I ask, have you noticed anything strange lately? If you have, be sure to tell me. I'll be sure to tell you if I see anything normal. Strange is the flavour of the hour, the week, the month and the year. Yet folks still gossip. They're suspicious, aggressive, impatient. Perhaps they hanker for normality. I suppose it figures. Well, if you hear anything that strikes you as unusual, do let me know. Would you be interested in a trade at all? What do you need? I'll take my leave of you for now. Have a good day, sir. Ah, the famed and famous banisher. The one and only Red McRaith. Have we met? I was at the meeting house. You've got guts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, politeness. Gives me the shits. I'm Phoebe Walcott. I buy and sell. Now then, what's your pleasure? So, have you noticed any strange behaviour of late? Apart from my own? Yes. So much so that now I am almost normal. Caleb Watson, for example. Now he, my friend, is really strange. Is he now? He used to be such a nice man. Now he's aggressive and he smells like the Christmas cat at Easter. Sounds charming. Thank you. May I see your wares? I'm a shopkeeper, aren't I? Yes, you may see my wares. again. You mind your good self, do you hear? Red McCraith, sir. The Banisher, at your service. May I ask your name? Bachelor. Hugh Bachelor. I was the school teacher here in New Eden. In the times before. I do not need the services of a heretic today. And nor do the people of New Eden. He seems pleasant. Seen anything strange of late? Do you speak of the disease eating at the fabric of our fair community? We've sealed the well, closed homes and houses, and said our prayers. It has not worked. Apart from that... Have you noticed anyone behaving strangely? I have to ask. I have seen the alewife, Mistress Barrow, lurking by the well, hands in her pockets, clutching at her herbals. And as I think of it, before his house burned down with his wife and brother in it, Caleb Watson and the alewife had a sharp exchange of words. Twere as if she'd cursed him. If there is a Harrow's witch, I'd start looking there. I'll steer you away from the idea that the alewife is a witch, but I'll look into all the same. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. Caleb Watson. We keep hearing that name. Let's pay him a visit. Lucy? Surprising. I'm curious to hear her take on all this. Good day to you both. And a good day to you too, sir. And wasn't that quite the entrance you made? It'll be the talk of the town. So, what brings you to our wee corner of the world? The governor bade me make the rounds. He suspects evil doing. If it's evil doing you're after, you may turn around and hurry back to New Eden Town. Now, 
if it excuses us. My sister's not feeling well, and we must hurry home. Dear Yves, I didn't catch your names. God be with you and your terrible pronunciation. Mary Claire O'Hara. This is my sister, Elizabeth. Noticed anything strange around here of late? Strange? A fine word for the devil's work. I call it evil. Look around you. The harrows are dying. Our flock took sick. Every last animal dead. Ram, lamb and you. Then the people took their turn. Many of our neighbours are with the Lord. At least, that's where we hope they are. If there's witchery afoot, I'll need help finding the culprit. Do you have suspicions you'd care to share? Well, Caleb Watson lately talks to himself. And if you interrupt him, why, he's as rude as a goat. And he was such a well-mannered man, too. Lord forgive me, but I don't like him. The man has stopped washing. He reeks. Interesting. Thank you. I'll let you rest, so. Slan live. Goodbye to you. Be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve him. Goodbye to you, sir. Mrs. Barrow, can I speak with you? All right. Speak. Can I ask you something? You may. It is delicate. You're the subject of certain rumours. Did you know this? What are you talking about? They say you burned someone's house down. Revenge, they say. They say that, do they? They talk, Mr. McCraith, while I work. They'll drink my ale, let them talk. Right. Is that all? They say you put herbs in the ale. Amongst other things, yes. You'll note that they also drink the ale. And don't you believe everything you hear? I'll take my leave of you for now. Have a good day, sir. I doubt she's who we're looking for. There was another name. Caleb Watson. Looks like... Smells you. It's justice. Start anew. Shite on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now. Out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sunny demeanour that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. Take it for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologise, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. <laughs> you hear that? Good one, right? <laughs> Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. 
Alexander and Ruth Watson. Hmm, family? Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Personal experience. Don't go there. It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. Hugh Batchelor said Lucy Barrow cost the house and it burned down. The house burned down, and I suspect the rest is nonsense. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. Ruth and Alexander Watson, the cobbler's wife and brother. Caleb Watson is out of his mind with grief. I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. You've done enough sniffing, hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You're not taking head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's bond debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Will you tell the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name, cause I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it though. No, the past the past, dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. Might help if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. Uh, buried. Uh, buried all. Quiet, you. And you can shite off, taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre.
Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Haunted. To the point of madness. Ruth and Alexander, maybe? Maybe. But something feels off. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. God's Acre? God's Acre. Too heavy to lower from your side. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate of acting so strange. Someone's been doing some undertaking. In New Eden, there's much to be done. Robbers. Yes, but what exactly were they stealing? There's another grave beneath it. You're within gun range, Red. Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Decoys to distract wayward spectres. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. 
Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. Oh. This way, more of them. I said, don't get too close. Demonology. I should have known. This fella again. He's persistent. I'll grant him that. Come back here! <laughs> Running away, are we? Another trick up your sleeve. Try this on yourself. to no good.
standing by. Oh, I hate those things. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Aye, thank you. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. A ghost left a blurred fragment of its memory. Who oh, there, fella? You nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. A drop may hide the rain. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. This isn't over yet. Sure are we that the ritual will work? Caleb's work was poor, 
Your work will be good. Cold feet? No. Not now, not ever. But the ritual shall work, and all shall be well. I promise. Been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah, can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know. If you don't know it already, I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth's? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me. But he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, Perhaps the house Ruth died in will. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that, isn't it just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her.
The house that burned down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Ghost wards. I cannot manifest. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? I am warded. I cannot. There's a path here. Let me. I was This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Of course. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Fuck off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. 
Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Her heart! Give it back! You may hide no more. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. The thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait, Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual? After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? He tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserve to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But... But what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you.
winning. I was winning. The line twixt love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Our love story shall have a... Someone inside's hard at work. Wait. Spectral stains. Haunted house. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So? What are you waiting for? Don't you want to hear the name? I do not need to. The principle is what matters. Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious, too curious at times, perhaps. But he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, Banisher. Find the real source of evil. Since when has the governor required proof? I'll get it. Mark me. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Here, take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion. quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Who is he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him. Something's emanating from...
One of these must be Lammy's hideaway. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. A ward restrains me. I'm ready to shoot in face of the after you breathe the heart. I'm going to need a hand here. I'm at your side again. I mean, you here? requires a key. The incisions are clean. The precision of an expert. There's magic here, though faint. Nothing to you? Not a thing. He talks once more of a mill. I guess we found him. 
Nothing incriminating. Yet. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson's? Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. Don't let that spectre get to the corpse. I have another insight. Watch out. Spectre possession. Away from the village. Perfect for his research. Perfect to hide secrets. He's not out here for pleasure, that's for sure. Peaceful. Like home on a good day. Not as hilly, mate. He felt like playing with the lambs. Blair preferred to feed them. And I was too busy dreaming. And you? Oh, I cooked them for dinner. The lambs, I mean. Oh, the girls are few. Possession incoming. They brought more friends. Make a run for it. Your funeral. Gateway to the mythical Aranu, whatever that is. 
Otherwise, terrible tragedy. Dark doings, sick secrets, and a wild guess. to mess with a banish. Derelict. Is he really inside? I'm with you once more. Guess we're not going that way. There should be a way up here. Something's here. Hidden.
What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. Déjà vu. He tried his hand at several translations. This relay lad seems dangerous. His apprentice seems to be following him down the same path. More ghost wards. Someone was being extra careful. He doesn't speak well of his dad. Did he seek power? Was he hoping to step out of his father's shadow? If he did, he went the wrong way about it. So, what are you hiding in here, evil spawn? Glancing at the original writing, Lamy's work was poor. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong. We need to get to the top floor. Then we'll find something. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them. Red, come see this. More magic muckery. What exactly was he up to? Just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? Should be useful. Well done. Maybe I should search some more.
His final notes sound optimistic. Did he succeed? All this is more serious than we thought. I'm apprehensive. Not just because we're going underground. We'll be careful. We don't know what Lamy was up to. And the signs are not encouraging. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. The pillar's red. Pillars first.
When all this is over, I might retire. You'd miss it. You know you would. Here, I found something. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Seems they were used as bait. Is this how we got through the solar vigilance? Standing by. Sorry, no can do. I suppose now, we step into the void. I suppose we do. Dark rituals. 